Hi everyone and happy Sunday. So um, I thought instead of doing two videos it seemed kind of silly when I was going to be showing some of the stuff in both videos today. Why don't I just combine them because that seems a little more efficient. So we're going to actually talk but because I really appreciate the people who sent me happy mail. I appreciate all of you that sent me happy mail. I'm going to go ahead and cover theirs in the beginning. So um, it might be a little bit out of order. I'm going to do their happy mail, then we'll do supplies, then we'll do books. So um, a lot of you were saying, but Michelle, I thought you were on a no-buy for July. Well, I was as of the 1st. I had ordered a few books from Book Outlet on the 1st. And yeah, we're going to talk about that later because I messed up. <laughs> One book, y'all. One book. So, anyway. Alright, before we get to that, though, um, I got these awesome looking Bosca pens uh, from Sarah Simi. Hopefully I uh, pronounced her name correctly. And um, these were, yeah, I <laughs> was so happy to get these. I saw these on somebody else's video. I don't have a lot of Posca pens. I have just the white one, though I would like to get the bigger black Posca pens to use for backgrounds and stuff. So these look to be kind of like a glittery, not pastel, but kind of pastel-y. These look to be like a glittery pen. So let's do, let's just run one on my so they look like they are a pretty fine tip. Of course it really, like Michelle, you really should have primed one of these before you started the video. Usually it doesn't take long. There we go. So there's that one. That is really pretty. I'm trying to look. Yeah, as it dries, there's a little bit of a shimmer to it, so. I like these colors a lot though, so I will definitely be using these. Thank you, Sarah. They're nice and long too. Did you notice that? They're not short like the other Posca pens, which hopefully means they'll last a little longer too. Let me see. You're not going to be able to see it on camera. Yeah, there's a little bit of a shimmer to it. It um, Maybe not as much glimmer as like kind of a iridescent shimmer look to it maybe like yeah I would say these are more shimmer than glitter but they are still really pretty and I love that purple and I'm never gonna be able to get that tab back so we're just gonna put these away as is for right now and then my friend Tammy mm, <laughs> sent me sent me a few things she sent me this, and it was so funny. Um, I cannot find her note in my massive mess on my desk. I came in from my from the walk run event yesterday and just kind of tossed down all my stuff over everything else. But um, I knew as soon as I opened it and saw this one that was from her because okay, yeah, that would have been smart, Michelle. Get the get the purple on. The cat. Not cool. Not cool. We'll bring that back in a minute. Alright. So this is the Catacorn Coloring Book by Blue Wave Press. I saw her flip through this and of course I was like, cats? <laughs> Which is really all that needs to be said um, when it comes to me. And she sent me this book. So believe in catacorns. As long as they're jerks, because they're, they're usually not sweet and innocent. So this is Amazon printed. Again, it is by Blue Wave Press. This would be pretty with that kind of gray background there to color. I have just woken up on Sunday, so if I don't seem all quite there, I mean, am I ever, but... Paper's a little thin, but that's okay because it is single-sided. Very cute pictures. 
Oh, yeah, we're not doing a flip through. Okay, yeah, right. I'm saving flip throughs for other books. I mean, for other videos. <sighs> Y'all are like, jeez, Michelle, get it together. Catacorn Permade. Anyway. Few pictures. So what I think I'm going to do next Thursday or Friday is do a flip through of at least some of my new books and just make them a theme. So we have it done. What's that corner sticking? We haven't done a flip through of a lot of the new books over the past few months. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we thank you for the catacorn book, Tammy. Oh my gosh. I always think of putting these everything together, but I never think about where to put them after I'm done. Okay, so this came in a separate package. And I'm pretty sure this was also from Tammy, but I didn't get a chance to ask her. If somebody else sent something, please let me know. Um, but this is the newest color Questopia book. Black background, stained glass, color by number for adults. I've loved the books that Color Questopia is doing lately, but you know, being on a no buy, I was trying really hard not to get, not to purchase any myself right now. Plus, you know, I just finished a Color Questopia book, so I guess I could look at it like this is my replacement for it, right? Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, and of course it's the black background, so. Oh my gosh, these pictures are so pretty. <laughs> I apparently filter myself before 8 a.m., y'all. I gotta have more coffee in me before the sailor the sailor wakes up. He's still he's still hung over and passed out from last night, I guess. So the sailor that's in my brain that, you know. Causes me to, makes me act like I'm 12. He's still asleep. So this is really pretty. I'm hoping to get to this this month. Oh, that's from some of their other books. So yeah, they do do, they do have, do 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 do, they have the, um, some examples from their other books. So the Mandala black background, which is one I'd like. The lovely Samantha gifted me that book, which I am trying to get to. Dazzling Patterns. It's just almost like a checklist of things I either already have or... Like I said, it's rare. Occasionally they have a book I'm not a big fan of, but I mostly am a fan of their subject matter. So, um, thank you. I'm thinking Tammy. Thank you Tammy for that. And she also got me these and uh, said she wanted to see how I compared these to the 50 pack of Weisbrent markers that I always go on and on about with you guys. And uh, so this is the Spree 50 set. I'm guessing this is the brush tip. Let me take a quick look. So we got our little color chart, which is actually kind of neat to have um, when you don't, of course, the, all the lights are scribbling it in. It's kind of nice when you don't really want to, oh yeah, this has the brush tips. That's what I was hoping. Yes, because that would make them a good comparison against the Wise Brands. I've been waiting to get Spree brush tips. I do love Spree markers too. So these are the brush and the chisel, which I think are all I really need as a colorist. I don't necessarily need the fine tips unless um, I'm doing like the little box mystery mosaics. So cool. What I'm going to do is try to color some pictures in a similar way to what I did with the Wise Brands. And then I'm going to chart them out. And I'll probably try to get a good handful of pictures colored. And then I'm going to do a video where I talk about these and I compare them to the 50 set of Wise Brands. Because where I think the 50 sets of markers are really coming in handy 
is for those who are just starting out with markers, just starting out with a little bit of blending, and uh, for color by number. These come in real handy. And I think these were on a really good lightning deal like a week or two ago, but I had... I had so many I was like I can't I can't justify buying another set of markers right now but <laughs> lo and behold <laughs> I have them now I'm going to use them absolutely all right now that we've done that let oh well I do want to say thank you I'm stretching on my desk for some reason look at my freckled Casper arms <sighs> Okay, hang on. I need a sip of coffee, apparently. Um, for those that are curious, I don't feel as bad as I thought I would this morning. I didn't sleep any better. Again, it's that whole drive myself to the point of exhaustion and um, still didn't really sleep any better. I didn't sleep any worse. Um, fortunately, my right leg from like above my kneecap up my thigh was giving me some trouble and I've been hobbling a bit. My feet are a lot better <laughs> now that I've got I've got some rest on them. So um, this is uh, this was a good test to see if the physical therapy has been working with my knees and just how far along I need to go. Most of the time the inflammation doesn't pop up until a couple days after those. So we'll have to kind of see what happens Monday and Tuesday. But I am tired. My husband also, in his infinite wisdom, decided to cut down some branches on some trees yesterday, which was going great until the chain slipped on his uh, chainsaw. So he had a branch that was hanging right over the road that would have fell in the middle of the night. So he got his hacksaw out and finished it. Avoided getting clonked in the head. Um, though sometimes I wonder... <laughs> Oh, oh, sometimes I wonder. Um, no, he, he's done been doing a lot of stuff around the house when I came. But he did need my help um, pushing that, getting that branch off the road because it was a pretty massive branch. And even though I was hurting, I still had to go help him because it that road's not even a real two-lane road because the gravel, the road has eroded so much because hello, small town can't afford new roads. Um, so we didn't want to hold anybody up. There was really no way to go around because there was no shoulder. So we got it off the road and I helped drag some of the smaller branches to the pile just to try to give him some relief because he was looking a little, a little rough <laughs> around the edges. But I probably shouldn't have done that. That didn't help much either. But anyway, if y'all were curious, that's kind of where I'm at. Um... For somebody that hasn't been exercising much, I actually right now don't feel too bad. But it could be delayed, so I'm not relaxing just yet. Okay, supplies. So, I I, I am on a no-buy, but these supplies are actually from my in-laws. Um, we hadn't had a chance to see them for a few months since we had our birthdays, and so... They apparently got some gifts for us, so, and, um, of course for me, there was a lot of coloring art-related stuff. The, well, there's a couple big things I guess I can show. So the first thing are these lighter color glaze uh, gel pens. Now, I have, of course, the black glaze I absolutely adore. And when I first started seeing those, I got some, but they were like weird dark colors. Like there's a dark green and a brown. And I don't like them as much, but I think I'm just not using them right. But I saw the brighter colors and I was like, oh, I really do want to try these. Um, I think these would be fun, kind of like maybe for bubbles or something. So I got these 10 pens. These are the Jelly Rolls, by the way. Jelly Roll Glaze. It was weird. I don't put, I don't see Jelly Roll anywhere on here. Oh, it says Sakura of America, so, but they're Jelly Roll brand. I got these, which are the Gelato Translucents. I think these are the final pack I need to complete my collection. 
actually have a completed collection of um, art related stuff that doesn't come in its own you know encompass collection I uh, actually have a completed collection and it's gelatos so these have a lot more earthy colors and you will be seeing me use gelatos a lot more because remember watercolor summer will still be going on after the end of the month because it will be going through mid-September whenever the first day of autumn starts so by the way you guys are killing it on Instagram with that tag I by far the most seems to be the favorite tag I've ever done by far and your pictures are just blowing me away they really are so I could have showed you back here I don't know what I'm thinking so it's like an eggplant a thistle lychee persimmon turmeric hazelnut bergamot poppy seed peppercorn olive creme de menthe and nougat so as you can see they're more earth earthy type tones so that's probably why I haven't got them yet just because um, y'all know me I tend to get towards the brights but I realized I was pretty close to being done so this was one of the things I asked for and they generally come with this little brush to use which I have not figured out yet and then some of these little kind of makeup pad looking things one's really flimsy and the other one's not so if you were curious how they how they come along and of course being translucent I'm assuming they're pretty translucent so we will have to try those out I still gotta swatch all my gelatos so all right so here we get to the big stuff the the real exciting stuff so this is my first Paul Rubin watercolor palette and um boy, boy howdy did this come in a fancy case so it's just this really nice soft like petable case and um I look peeked at them but I did not disturb them yet because I wanted to show you guys how these are packaged they come in this fancy little um, I'm assuming it's a uh, what do you call it stuff that easily soaks up water and stuff you, you would use this a lot when you're doing watercolors and it's a type of material and I can't think of the name of it microfiber maybe microfiber maybe so there's that probably never go in the box again little pink palette and you're like what kind did you get Michelle why I got <laughs> they come with a lot of stuff um oh it comes with the way you can swatch them yourselves oh I like that I like that I got the I think they're like the shimmery I think shimmer pearlescence I think is what was the name Oh, this must be their full like library of colors maybe it's not all the ones that are in here surely not it's a lot more than okay I can't read any of the names in that one but you do get a little thing that you can then tuck back in here which is really nice I apologize I cannot obviously can't read any of that um, so unfortunately so yeah these are like the I think they were the called the pearlescence I can't quite remember now is it on the box anywhere where I can read it no probably not transparent watercolor yeah pearlescent solid watercolor paint there we go I am not prepared today so you can see the shimmery on the top I have to open these individually so let's just grab one maybe it's like Michelle you don't know what you're doing and you would be right deep oh boy what is that middle word interference deep interference that's what I thought it said and then I was like no that's not it it's like a 
freaking football call or something. Interference. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I just have standard watercolors. I don't have any of the, um, I'm going to keep this on here until I swatch them. I don't have any of the really fancy uh, shimmery, shimmery ones or iridescence yet. Wor was working on that, just hadn't got around to it. And um, now I got these. So it was really cool because I have a baby dragon's picture that has a lot of gold pieces in it. And I think one of the golds in here will be perfect for that. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. So yeah, super excited about this one. I'm super excited about them all, but I mean, this one I was like, I just started really just playing with my watercolors last weekend because I've been so nervous to just even touch them. And it was so much fun. That's like all I want to do right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> They will definitely be getting used and getting used soon because I do need to work on that picture hopefully this next week. All right, this other big thing, speaking of watercolors again, are these babies. These are the Econoline mixing colors. I kept this thing on them because I wanted to keep them from like just falling apart, but now now I can officially take that off so you get two sets of five in this one um doesn't say on there does it say on the bottom nope so we're just gonna pop open one so these are like watercolors that already have the water in them it's a liquid watercolor basically and I've seen people do like really incredible stuff with these trying to see if they had a color name anywhere I'm not seeing it they do sell these in different colors of course oh there are 60 okay so there's 60 of these available so I think I got just the basic set that's got like your oranges this looks like a red orange or a red pink and a purple and then this one, yeah, we got a blue and a green, a brown, a gray, and a black. Yeah, so I just got the basic color set. These are super cool. Um, they're a little scary. <laughs> they're a little scary. I'm definitely going to have to be, I'm definitely going to have to play with these quite a bit. Um. And I'm going to store them differently. I already have another way I'm going to store them. But for now, we're going to put them back in their little bins. Man, it is a shame. I can't think of anything else that would fit in these. These are not inexpensive. But, man, the way the packaging is, I'm starting to wonder if a lot of it was because of the packaging. But, what type of container is this? That is a glass container, so that is why. So that is actually kind of understandable. Okay. think that is all the supply stuff. Though I will show you what tripped me up. One of the things that tripped me up yesterday was I went to Dollar General. I don't have a Dollar Tree near me. Um, all I have, all we have in town is Dollar General. Apparently, <laughs> my town <laughs> is so one horse. We couldn't, we had a family dollar, a family, a Dollar General. And a Fred's at one point. Family Dollar and Fred's both closed up shops. So we can't support apparently more than one. I was looking for some trays to store some of my little smaller sets of colored pencils in. To put on my shelves. And I found like these little flex trays. That you know. It's not really an inspiring color. But you know. And then these I thought would be cool. The way I'm organizing stuff. Those will probably come in handy um as well so All right. so when collecting items for the haul um this morning in my non-coffee induced uh brain fog moment 
I forgot to include some other books I received this month. Um, some is Happy Mail. One's a uh, purchase I made last month. And then another one um, is actually from the artist. So um, I thought I would include these. I'm going to stick them in right at the beginning of the coloring books list because I want to make sure um, that people actually get to see them. So let's get started on this bit real quick. My friend Sammy, Samantha, um, sent me a few books. This isn't necessarily a coloring book, but I want to get more familiar with my watercolors. One of the big reasons being I want to watercolor my coloring books more. And here comes Sidonia. She's going to help. Hey, girl. What you doing? Don't bump my camera. Well, now she's on the pile of books that I needed. That's not helpful. That's not helpful, little girl. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll pet you. So this, um, it goes up just a little bit through techniques in the beginning, which is nice. Um, the techniques kind of overwhelm me a bit when they're just really detailed and really in-depth. And this is more of a high level, which is nice. You don't have to leave. Just like you weren't petting me enough. I've actually been playing and working my way through the techniques and swatching my watercolors last weekend, which it was just fun to use them. I am terrified of my watercolors. I don't know why. The ones in the palette like that, like, I am for some reason scared to put a brush in them and put them on paper. Like, I don't know if I think it's going to explode or what's going to happen, but it was nice to just get them out last weekend. But this has different, um, different, uh, pictures you can do it just I don't know just looks really cool so I like this one a lot I don't know if I'll work front to back we'll just see we'll see how it goes so there is that then I also have summer color by number by color Questopia, the black background one I have been trying to color in this one for this month um, you know, was coloring a lot at the beginning of the month. This past week, y'all, I, I don't think I've touched a coloring book other than to just look at it. Um, and I'm hoping that's not the case this next week, but we'll have to see. But anyway, I still want to color in this one. I like that picture a lot. There's another one where she's like blowing bubbles or something. Where did that one go? There. I think that one's adorable. And I like using the glossy accents on the bubbles and stuff. So that might be the one I do. Yeah. So very cool book. One of their more recent releases, but not their absolutely recent. <laughs> they if they like I I think I could just have a bookshelf of color questobia books if they keep putting out the books they're putting out. It's like, I have to spread the love a little bit. I do like the other artists, but oh my gosh, their stuff is so cool. Um, Sam also sent me this. This is Colored by Colors. This may look familiar if you watch my Tag Tuesday video. Um, I have I feel like Country Life is my favorite out of all the Kira Shoshneva books. I've seen her spring book and her summer book. I have her, her Mandala's book, not her newest one, but the the very first one that was the color by colors and then um anyway my point being is that because i'm gonna sit here and spend 10 minutes trying to remember this i love the actual full scenes in these and it's something about the way she put the color she's put the colors in that they just turn out so nice I already did one, and I'm going to show you guys. I think I showed you on Tuesday, so it's not like this is absolutely new. But isn't that adorable? It turned out so pretty. So, yeah, I think this is my favorite of her books. And I'm trying to color in it. I want to color in it again, but I want to color in all these other books I haven't colored in. And it's just, it's not enough time. My friend Tammy sent me these. Um, the first one is Fantasy Dragon Color by Number Mosaics. This is a hexagon mosaic. And uh, she sent me a couple really cool little cat masks. I want to do something with these for the live stream, but I'm still not sure yet. 
and then there's the other one and uh, this is like oh you can actually see that one a little bit these are tiny hexagons like I probably could use a fine liner in here and not feel like I'm taking forever like these are going to require a very light touch with any sort of marker they are tiny this is going to be a project project book in a different way than my other project books then we have 50 jungle miniatures because I, she she must have known I saw this come out and I about broke my no buy on this um I probably would have felt better about it than I did on the book I actually broke it on. But no, I love them both. But this is, I came really close. And as, I guess it's a good thing I didn't because she, she knew. She knew. Um, I love jungle type line art. That's like some of my favorite. So this is 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camelia Angel Cova. I'm sure all of you have seen a flip through of this. Like I said, I will be, if I'm not repeating myself in the future or whatever I will be doing flip throughs of the new books from the last few months I think this Thursday and probably the next Thursday just to get them caught up and in my coloring book collection and I will put a link down to that below though the link tree I have um, always posted has a link to that so I was also contacted by Alicia Atkins. Um, this is her very first coloring book, and it is hilarious. I love it. It is um, Greetings from Limbo, and it has the drawings, and then it kind of has like a story progression through it too, which of course I'm doing it backwards right now, but lots of puns, especially in how some of the characters are named. I love it just pretty much my kind of book and I really 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 want to color in this this week because I've not gotten to it yet and I am very sad about that so there's greetings from limbo and I canceled my coloring heaven subscription a while back but I do tend to get some one-off books and I saw this one last month and this shows you it takes about a month and some to get to me I saw this one sometimes they come out with books and I just know I just know I don't even need to see a flip through I don't need to see anything about the book other than the cover and the material what looks to be the content and I am it's kind of like me and cat coloring books but I saw this it I knew I knew it was like a another storybook type of book and just looking at the art on the cover I'm a huge fantasy fan this looked to be all kinds of fantasy this just hit all the right buttons and uh, Josh Lee hopefully I'm saying that right um, I've been I have books from that artist on my wish list and uh, I really haven't had a chance to get one yet so this gives me a chance to really kind of get to know the style to this book so yeah I did order this one um, and if you're not familiar with how this one's working I'll be doing a flip through of this one next week you get the image and then on the back there is a little bit of a story so um, this one Diwada was a young artist from the city who loved to paint landscapes and go on adventures and you can see her here she was fascinated by the ocean the creatures that live in it she set off on an ocean voyage an old boat she had borrowed from a friend to study and paint the creatures she came across so this just details her adventures beautiful art just beautiful art I like the fact that it's all from the same artist too with the consistency it's just beautiful oh you so sad anyway was super excited just 
decided this one was one I, I wanted. So, all right, let's continue with the coloring books. All right, books. <laughs> we're going to, we're just going to get this one out of the way because I'm going to, I, I got to, got to show my shame and I got to admit to it and be honest about it. <laughs> this is what tripped me up. And y'all are like, really? <laughs> it's a mystery colors. It's just a coloring magazine. They're everywhere. Um, why would this book trip up your nobody? Well, I never go into any of the stores that have these. I don't go into like the pharmacy type stores. I usually don't go. I usually don't see these at the dollar type stores. Um, and I don't ever go into Walmart anymore. So... The only way I've been able to get these lately is ordering, getting them off of eBay. And with that and shipping, I usually wind up paying about double the price of the magazine. So I saw a flip through this by Spicy Cat Colors and I loved it. I don't want a subscription to this because I may not like them all. So I'm just buying them one, one off, which is kind of stupid. I probably shouldn't. Um, but... I, uh, yeah, so I saw it and I was like, this is my opportunity. It's probably the only opportunity, I only time I will be in one of these stores before this runs out. So I bought it. Yeah, broke my no buy for the month for it, but that's okay. Can't, can't, I went two months without buying anything. I'm not going to buy go crazy and start buying stuff right at the moment. I still have points I've got to make up in my little point system. If you don't like being spoiled. I usually don't, but I'll show you guys this. They're just beautiful pictures. I, I just really like them. They're a little more detailed. And, and there's others. Yeah, they're a lot more detailed than the older issues. And I think... Ooh, look at this. Wait a minute. I thought the year was only $20. That doesn't sound like a savings. Oh, maybe just if you get the two years. I don't know. Anyway, I'll think about it. The artists they used to have, maybe that Joe Bartos left, and so they had to get somebody else. But anyway, so yeah, can't can't get them all. Um, it's all right. It's all right. We'll see what my points look like for the month, and then we'll figure out what we're doing next month. So, book outlet. Somebody, Nika, suggested some books. She had seen again on spicy cat colors she and i seem to be of similar wavelength lately there were some books on there she recommended would be something i'd be interested in and then i had to pick up two other books that of course were at a pretty steep discount so let's show the ones she recommended so I talked about how much i like the ink house and so these books are not really coloring books they're storybooks without words but the way the art is drawn in them this spot the cat and spot and dot by henry cole the way the art is drawn in them these are actually quite colorable type books as you can see there's a lot of shading like pencil would be really good in here you know me, I would love to try watercolor, but I don't know about this paper. The paper's not awful. It's just, I know it's definitely not built to have somebody actually, you know, using art mediums on it. Isn't that cute, though? I just like looking at it. If I don't even color it, I... See, I got Ruth Sanderson's Castle Full of Cats book as well. Not just the coloring book, the grayscale version, but I got the actual storybook as well. And I just like looking at it. So I don't know. These were awesome finds. Um, definitely a better deal than what you could get on Amazon. And there was a limited number, so I didn't want to miss out on these. And that's the spot and dot. These are so cute. 
<laughs> this picture, though, oh my word. This is like a Where's Waldo picture. That one would definitely require some work. He's so cute. Him and the doggy. See? Oh, well, we've already seen that page, Michelle. We've already seen that one. There we go. Another one. Pretty. So it looks like on the bottom of this one, I'm going to put the other one. This one's got like a little black marker, but you can't really see it. So. so that's spot and spot and dot. Then I saw this one. And again, the mythographic books I can kind of take or leave. There's a p couple of them like Dream Garden. And I think the very fir first one that came out, Animals, that I like real well. Sorry, I had to grab some coffee. Um, but um, Dream Garden I definitely got because I liked a lot. And uh, Fabiana Atanasio is the artist. This is Paradise. Again, this was steeply marked down. And um, I, I don't know. I'm getting more drawn. These are my type of images. They're weird images. And they're single-sided, so I could use marker. Actually, some of these don't look as complicated as you would think. That was the thing that really turned me off these. It wasn't the art itself. It was just the, um, that it looked really complicated. Like, this one looked complicated to me. Okay, it's only some of them. Ooh, that one's cool. Like, he's going through a portal. I've seen a lot of people do a beautiful version of this. I gotta say, I'm in with everybody else. This one really caught my eye because, you know, the whole planets thing here. I gotta say, um, I'm kind of with everybody else, though, that I really wish they'd just leave the little random objects out. That I don't think they're needed. The images themselves. This one, too, was just stunning. I don't know if I would ever color this one, but... It's, it's a really cool book. I wouldn't have gotten it if it wasn't on sale. So, this is why I don't go to book outlet very often. Used to. Got a whole stinking bunch of books. And <laughs> this is why I don't go to book outlet very much. I did get this one. Um, not really a coloring book, but kind of related. Joanna Basford's How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. I have said before, I have no interest in learning to draw, but I did notice that I'll add stuff to pages every now and then. And it would be kind of nice to already know how to draw certain things and be able to add them. And I've seen other people use this book, and it doesn't seem to be super difficult, I guess, to learn. I don't hear a lot of people getting this book and just being like, I can't draw these. They're too hard. A lot of people are able to successfully draw them and their stuff's beautiful, so. I just thought it would be interesting. Plus, the price difference between this and what was on Amazon was like, wow, big price difference. So. Now, my in-laws also gave me two coloring books as birthday gifts. I finally got this one, which is buzzing all around color tube. Um, this is Flowerscape by Maggie Antarios. And as you can see, it is a smaller book. Just doesn't matter to me, but it's just not your standard height for a coloring book. So just, just in case you don't. You don't know. So, I'll just show a few in here. Like I said, I think I'll do a full flip through. I think I'll do a full flip through later on in the next few weeks of what I already have. I will probably be starting on these little small pictures first and then graduating to the bigger pictures. I don't know if I've seen anybody use anything but pencil in here yet, so I gotta go hunting to see.
the coloring optimist, I believe is her name, did a really beautiful picture in here. It was right here in the front. Yes, right here using like pinks and purples and greens and using Prismacolors and it's just, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. So, yeah, this is my pretty book. This is my, probably end up actually using pencils in this book. And for what's got to be, I think, my favorite coloring book grab this month um, that my in-laws got me is this one. I have not had bought a color it book in forever. Um, their art can be kind of hit and miss for me. and um, But their paper is just amazing. And um, I just love that their books are bound at the top. So I saw somebody flip through this one and I was like, you know, and it's another fairies book. I keep telling myself, stop buying the fairies books, but apparently I am drawn to them. So this one um, just really grabbed my eye and I like just about all the art in it. I think they use different artists in their books. Like it's not just one artist throughout the book. So sometimes you get a little bit inconsistency in their art should list well here's the back of it it's probably on the inside the list who the artist is but um yep well no we got one person for this one so maybe that's why i like this one so much so this is like marker paper in that it is super smooth i mean i'm gonna try other things on it but if you like markers and you like to blend with them single-sided this is this is the paper for you. So we're going to just, there's a lot of fairy guys in this one. Okay, let's see if I can put this in a position where it's not in shadow, but, y but I can still comfortably turn it. Got all kinds of body types shown, which is great. Oh my gosh, isn't that cool? It's so cool. I love this book. I don't know, like just about every picture. And there's 50 of them. Which is also a really good deal. I don't know what's about to go down there on that grass. But those flowers might want to turn away. Isn't that pretty? I just, I love that one. I'm so tired. I'm just cracking jokes and going on. And I'm like, all right, well. The sailor is stirring, I think. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I love that picture. I really need to save that for bur my birthday next year. See, they even have like a bunch of male fairies in the book, which I appreciate. I've said numerous times that there needs to be more male representation in our coloring books. Oh, this one. That cat's like, what the? <laughs> what are you and why are you on my back? There's the cover page. So yeah, super beautiful book. I just, I love it. I love all the books. I love the happy mail. You guys are just, you're too generous to me. <laughs> You're too generous to me, and but I I really do appreciate it. Um, I remember the yeah the other day it was just I had to go to the doctor and I I was worried something was wrong with my heart. There's a long story there, but that was the same day that I came home and the Posca pens from Sarah had had shown up, and so that that helped brighten my mood and and take my mind off that for a bit and then um yesterday i got home and of course i was just drug out and um tammy stuff showed up so like i say it always seems like you guys know just when i need a pick me up and and you don't have to please don't ever think that I go on no buys just because i'm going to run out of room if i don't keep myself in check 
Um, and my husband might, <laughs> might check me in as some sort of like shoppers, shoppers a, a addiction anonymous group or something. So, um, I, I have to keep myself in check a little bit, but like I said, I never feel like you have to, it's just really appreciated. And, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Oh, <laughs> You notice I am subconsciously not showing my shame picture or shame book. So we're just going to stick that right there. Uh, <laughs> shame. Shame, Michelle. Um, and the other, hey, it could have been worse. The other day I found a bunch of like Korean cat books that I wanted so bad right then and there. And I had to tell myself no and I had to put them on a list and it was just... Yeah, so it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse than eight bucks I, in the grand scheme of things. So, all right, guys, um, I'm going to try to do a Tag Tuesday. We're going to try to do a flip through. It's not going to be a certain theme. We're just going to try to cover the new books I've received in the past few months. We're going to do probably a part one flip through of that. And um, then Saturday is my big live stream if you didn't watch my video yesterday um we have hit our goal however um obviously i would love to see how much we can actually donate so um look to the community page i'm going to post a couple of stretch goals later today or monday and uh there and on instagram so that you know maybe we can donate even more i really appreciate you guys donating um never expected to actually get to this point just just because it's it's not a national organization and i'm, I'm certainly not the biggest youtuber out there so but you guys get four hours of live streaming next saturday it will be during the day um and uh can't promise it'll be quality entertainment but as i've said um hopefully you will be entertained so um you know if you can keep donating to the gofundme and uh yeah so let's see how this next week goes thanks everyone and bye for now